Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing six summer outfits that I would be wearing if there wasn't a pandemic in the world. Because recently I've just been wearing comfy, or well, not that this isn't comfy, but you know what I mean, like leggings, cycling shorts, baggy t-shirts, that sort of thing. Um, but I probably will be wearing these sorts of outfits next year if the world goes back to normal hopefully and hopefully get to go away on holiday. How many times can I say hopefully in this video? don't know but anyway this is my first outfit this top is from Brandon Melville I really like it because it's like it's not like thick as in like hot sweaty kind of thick it's like thick as in good quality that's the word I'm looking for good quality love it I like the little frills on the bottom and yeah I really like this and this is from this skirt is from Motel Rocks and it's got a little slit on the side and I just feel like the way it like sits around my waist and like falls nice, like it doesn't like stick out or anything and yeah, I just really like this skirt, I think it's really pretty. Um, and I got this on sale so I'm not sure if I'll still be doing it but they do loads of skirts like this so if you like it then check out Motel Rocks. Um, and I'm just wearing it with some white socks that I actually got in the kids section and kids section at Next. And I'm wearing it with my white night trainers. So yeah. This is the first outfit. Gosh, I'm really hot, it's so warm. Like, it looks cold outside. Windy, it's been raining, but in my room, it's warm. So yeah, first outfit. Okay, so this is my second outfit. These are both from Brandy Melville. I got them at the start of the year before I went on lockdown. I got them from, obviously brand new Melville store but I was in Rome when I got them but yeah I love this colour of green I think it's really nice um, they're not see-through I mean I wouldn't do squats in them or anything like that because they probably would go see-through but like just you know regular everyday shorts they're not see-through I love this top I think it's really flattering just because of like the buttons down the front and like that it sits like kind of open I just really I, like love this top I love this one more than the other one that I just wore but obviously still love both of them but I just think this one's more flattering so this is my third outfit I got this from H&M recently um, I'm loving this stripe down the side I think that's really cool and yeah they'll still have this definitely in stock it was only 12 99 so that's great bargain and I think it's very figure hugging very nice good material um, and it's good length as well you can't really see e no, you can't see, but um, I'm just wearing it with my white trainers again, and it's that kind of length where it, on me, I'm five foot, five and a half, um, it hits mid thigh, um, and that's really good for me because when I walk, I don't know why, I don't know if this happens to anyone else, a lot of dresses, they ride up, so at this length, if it rides, my whole arse isn't going to be out, so that's great, love it. So this is my fourth outfit. I got this from Princess Polly. Absolutely love them. It's so soft, the material's gorgeous. It's very stretchy, clings to my skin. Love that. I got it in a size extra small. Normally I would get things in a small, but because it's super stretchy and because I didn't want it to be like loose and baggy on my arms, I wanted it to be tight fitting, I got an extra small. These are super old. I got them from um, Forever 21 when I was like 13 or 14 and I'm 21 now so very old but they've lasted a very long time and they're still white. I mean they're not crisp white but still white and um, so that's good and yeah they fit really well. They're actually kind of loose which I don't understand because when I was 14 um, I don't remember them being super baggy but I mean yeah and I should and I've obviously I've, I mean I've gained a bit of weight since I was 14 but I have always been quite a slim person um, but yeah absolutely love this love this top can't wait to wear it out because it is new I only just recently got it and I think it's really pretty so this is my fifth outfit I am absolutely obsessed with this it is a play suit and it is all strappy on the back like this and it looks a bit like a dress which I also love because I'm not really keen on wearing a lot of dresses I am more of a play suit kind of person because I just feel a bit more safe in a play suit like it's connected in the middle I feel like nothing's on show and it's just it's so soft like honestly 
so so soft this is gorgeous it's a little bit more on the expensive side because i did get it from urban outfitters and i can't quite remember how much it was it was either like 40 or 60 quid something like that i think they do still do it and i recently did see that they have a purple version which is similar to this but it goes like straight across instead of the v which i do still love and i think it was a bit more like tight and like and didn't have like the um, seams that go down here obviously don't wear a bra with this um because of the back and yeah it's amazing one of my faves and i will definitely be taking this abroad when i next get to go so this is my last outfit and um i only got it recently same as i got it at the same time as i got the gray dress with the um yellow panel down the side so the both from H&M um, I feel a little bit like I look like I'm going on a safari or something in these but they're really comfy breezy loose they are a little bit like tight around the waist but they're dead stretchy like see so I don't mind I don't own anything like this that has like the paper bag um, effect on the top but yeah it's really nice I love this shade of grey I think dark grey I, I just feel like dark grey is more flattering on me that's just my personal opinion and i do like light gray as well but i prefer this color with these like beige colored shorts and the pockets do work they aren't just for show very big pockets actually so yeah obsessed they are quite a longer short but i don't always like having short shorts on sometimes i fancy having a bit of a mid-length short so yeah and i recently faked hand so if anywhere is streaky or patchy yeah I'm not that good I don't fake tan that very often I am normally very pale but I wanted to fake tan because the weather's been a bit rubbish here in England and it's supposed to be warm on the weekend yeah it's supposed to be warm on the weekend but today's rubbish and I just wanted to make myself feel nice by putting a bit of fake tan on so if it looks a bit crap then yeah, that's why, because I'm not very good. But, yes. <sighs> if I seem stressed, or if I seem a bit talking fast, or a bit, I don't know, it's because this is my first video. Why do I keep doing this? I'm stretching, isn't it? This is my first video back after two years of not uploading anything. Back then, I feel like I wasn't really mentally ready. I do feel obviously still a bit like panicky now and a bit nervous to film because I'm not used to it, but I have grown since then and I just, I really want to do this. Um, so I'm just gonna push through and hopefully soon my confidence will come through and I won't be as nervous to film. So yeah, hopefully this is an okay video hopefully you enjoyed and yeah i'll hopefully see you in my next video and subscribe if you did like it i don't know why i keep doing this with my arms it's so annoying stop it okay see ya thank you for watching